In this video we're going to look at the live tote board feature of Quick Course. This, this feature will allow you to uh, have a lot of information pretty quickly um, as you handicap various races that are, that are going on during the day. You can sit right there at home and um, uh, check real-time odds and check your handicapping and uh, kind of flows and gives you a, a good interface and a fast interface to, to tie quick, uh, quick horses handicapping into you know, wagering possibilities. Start with the opening screen. We click I agree. We handicap now. Um, in the past couple of videos we, we had uh, just one track that we downloaded data for. What I've done here is selected uh, one of the quick horse um, programs on my computer that has all of the tracks, all of our free data for all of the tracks. And the reason I've done that is when you use the live tote feature, it's only going to display uh, those tracks that you have downloaded data for. So the fact that I have all of the tracks means that I'm going to get a, a full list of, of uh, race races going on right now. It's uh, July 27th, and um, the time is uh, 10.20 in the morning Pacific time. So we're well into the afternoon on the East Coast and so I'm just going to pick pick a track and select today's race and then from the handicapping screen and with the menu bar that now appears I'm going to click on handicapping tools and start the live tote board. This will take a few seconds for it to gen up and to set itself up and while it does so I'll tell you what it's it's doing. First of all, it's um, it's tying in to our real-time server and it's uh, it's then handicapping each race according to the way it's been set up to handicap and um, eventually it will show you a full list of, of races to be handicapped. On the right side of the display all right, here's a more full list. Just depending upon how our server works, sometimes partial information comes down. So this is more of a, a full list showing you various tracks. Over here, we can immediately get from this display, which is showing us basic um, odds for our selections. Uh, these, are, these are our selections in, in the order that we've selected and not in post position order, so you can see that uh, the quick horse handicapping method has selected uh, horse 1A to win here, horse 7 to win here, horse 6, and, and then you've got the accompanying real-time odds. When I say real-time, you know, there's obviously a delay over the internet, but this is, um, this is as close as much as most uh, live tote boards can get you on any site. So, as I said, if you you look at the live tote board, there's also information here that shows you how well a particular method has done in the past at, at picking uh, winning races. Um, I have to take a step back and tell you that when I handicap, I look for uh, boxing the top four selections into an exacta play. That's, that's just how I choose to handicap. And each one of these methods has been tuned to produce the most number of winners possible uh, in the last 50 races. Okay, so you can see in the last 50 races at this track, Quick Horses method would would box four four horses and win 58% of the time, but unfortunately, you'd still wind up losing money. So you may not want to bet this race down here. In this particular race, you're a lot better off because you're winning 66% of the time out of the last 50 races and you're also making money. This is your return on investment number, 22.4%. And you can scan down and you can see that down here it looks like an excellent play because it's 78%. Here's that line again, 78% and you've got an ROI of 162 but it only was able to find 14 races like today's race in its history that it was able to handicap. So 
that might not be one you do want to play. Here's another reasonable, you know, might be a reasonable play. All right, so you can see the status right now. You know, the horses are running the race. They're running the race, running the race, running the race, running the race. Another running the race. So you got all these races going on simultaneously. Seven minutes to post, 15, 22, 22, 26, 36 minutes to post. Now we're only going to show 16 races. So the 16 races most close to running are going to be shown. And as the races get finished and as the results are posted, these tracks will basically drop. You can see now that the races that had shown are now basically posting their results and they've disappeared from the screen temporarily. As they fill in from the bottom, you can, you can click on any one of these and drill down into more information in the race. All right, here, here are your win place show pools. This is par, uh, uh, Philadelphia Park. Uh, race three is seven furlong dirt for maidens, three, four, three, four, five year old. Okay. So it, it's currently being raced right now as I talk about this because you see the flag is there off. But you can see here for my top four selections boxed, I can just draw an imaginary rectangle here and see all my payoffs. So if I wanted to make, this is for a $2 exacta payoff. And I can quickly see whether I, how much of a chance I stand of making money. It looks like that this might be a, a good wager, because most all of these uh, amounts are greater than the 24 bucks that it would take me to wager on this race. So it might have been a good race for me to to play. I'm a little late in playing it, but uh, because it's it's already running. So that's uh, then to right. You can right click the mouse to return to the um, uh, regular display. As races change, a quick horse has to handicap those races. That's what you're seeing now. It's automatically handicapping all the races in its list. So as new races come up, it has to automatically handicap those. It will also automatically scratch horses that have been scratched. If I click on the Saratoga race, if there were any scratches, okay, number 10 was scratched. And we can pick up from the tote board. Quick Horse automatically picks that up and scratches that horse for you automatically if you're using the tote board. So there's a lot of, lot of power there. And you can, you can choose your own video source. You can choose where you want to wager. Um, we, we send people to a place called Bet America that has free video no matter if you're wagering or not. You don't even have to send them money. A lot of other sites require you to make a deposit before you can watch the races. Some of our users just want to um, just want to watch the races and kind of make paper bets, which is what I would recommend for anybody who's trialing Quick Horse right now. If you're on the free trial, and you probably are since you're listening to this video, don't, don't go out and make bets until you understand how the software works so that you understand what you know how proficient it is and what your risks are and a lot of that has to do with these numbers and we're going to discuss that in the next video how to come up with these numbers these are not automatically done by quick horse you have to you have to guide quick horse in creating these numbers and so in a, um, that's what we'll do in the next video so basically as far as this is concerned you can click to find out more about the race. You can back out of that. You can go over and select any any race so that you can delve deeper into that race. All right, and here's that race being handicapped. And again, I'm going to talk about this in another video, but you can see here this doesn't look like the handicapping screen that we saw in the last video. Okay, so things are different. So in the next Next video, we're going to co cover something called track profiles, which is at the center of the uh, quick horse system. So I'll see you then.